What's up, guys? It's Dr. Cam here with Grounded Over FPT, coming back to you with your daily body armor. The exercise we're going to discuss today is going to be the forward and reverse bear call. So I utilize this exercise with patients who typically have shoulder pain. Uh, it's also a great, just a static hold if you want to do the bear crawl hold. Great core exercise, uh, gets the quads burning as well. Uh, but generally speaking, I'm using this exercise with folks that uh, have shoulder pain, would like to get back to maybe handstand walks, um, uh, wall walks, things that are going to be a little bit more dynamic and a little bit more, uh, require a little bit more stability at the shoulder. So um, generally, again, dosing this in, um, you know, once every couple of, uh, every couple of days and having them go for, you know, maybe it's a 25 foot walk, uh, four, taking a little bit of a break, going back 25 feet in that reverse bear crawl position. And again, that, that gets us to be able to utilize that kind of, um, uh, um, shifting motion that happens during the handstand walk. Uh, so it's a great intermediary between there, uh, we have likely already uh, performed some of the, the static holds, maybe some shoulder taps in this position as well, and have now progressed to the point where we're actually moving along the floor. Uh, so the way that this is going to look, I'm going to back up and give you guys an idea. Um, what we'd like to do is we'd like to get up into that bear crawl position where the body is stacked, okay? Shoulders stacked under, I'm um, sorry, hands stacked into the shoulders, and then we're going to move uh, opposite leg, opposite arm, okay? Small steps. Trying to maintain a nice neutral back, okay? And then again, small steps on the way back. Okay. So, once again, shoulder pain, uh, especially with dynamic activities, handstand walking, uh, wall walks, maybe even just shoulder taps um, in the past. This would be a great way to progress that. If you work to the point where now you're getting to be a little bit more dynamic with your activities at the shoulder and want to progress that a little bit further. If you guys have questions about this exercise, reach out to me. Subscribe and like our page, and I'll see you next time for your daily body armor.